welcome back in this video i will show you how to pass the ids of selected record from list view page to visual force page and apex so here if i select some records then i need to pass this selected record id to the apex for further processing so how to do let's understand in this video so first of all as you can see here on the account object in buttons links and action i have created one list button named what level test and here i have set the content to a visual force page and if i show you the visual force page the name of the page is test and as you can see on screen the test page has set the standard controller attribute to account we are using record set where goes to account because by setting this attribute you, we will be able to use the visual force page in the list button and also i will be using the custom controller that's why i am setting extension equals to the name of the custom controller now let's start with writing the code of uh, finding the ids of selected records so if i go to the documentation page it says that we can use this get selected method which returns the list of s object that have been selected so let's try to use this method in our apex code so if i go to apex and here if i see it returns the list of s object so i have to create a list here so list of s object and uh, let's name it my cursor okay selected records equals to controller dot get selected i hope it will be saved let's see so it is saved also let's debug it system dot debug and let me pass some string selected record id and here i will print this variable which is selected records now let's save it so we have used the method get selected of controller standard set controller so let's go to our page list view page and here i have already let me just refresh it and select some record and then click on the test button so i will select some random records here and click on test button let's also go to the developer console so see the logs the, lo the log is currently not generated now the log is generated let's open it and see the here it is saying selected record id and it is not displaying any record id so here there is some problem not the problem with the code but with our setting when we created the button so as you can see let me just cancel it and click on edit so you can see here display checkbox for multi record selection it is not enabled that's why it is not passing the record ids to the apex class so i will edit this button edit the setting and click on this checkbox and click on save now we have done this setting then you will be able to pass the selected record ids to the apex so let me just refresh the page go back and refresh the page and now if i select the records 1 2 3 let me select at least so i have selected uh, six records now i click on test i will see the record ids in the debug logs so a log is already generated here let me just open it and as you can see we are getting the record ids you can see here so this is how you can find the ids of the selected records from list view page to the apex code for further processing that's it in this video thank you very much